Hey everyone, I'm Scott Jeske, Director of Student Conduct and Community Standards here at GTCC. Halloween is right around the corner, but at our college it is business as usual. Classes, labs, and all the usual events will go on as scheduled. You can still get into the Halloween spirit as long as you follow some basic guidelines to keep things safe, respectful, and accessible for everyone. Let's talk about what those guidelines are and some cultural factors you should consider when making your costume choices. First, let's talk about health and safety. We want everyone to enjoy themselves, but there are some clear boundaries to keep in mind. Here's what you need to know. Most importantly, do not bring any real weapons to campus, even if it completes your costume. And honestly, to be safe, don't bring anything that could be mistaken for a real weapon. It's just not worth the risk. Don't bring items that could be a target for theft or that you're not going to have any place to store around campus during the day. Stay away from special effects like dry ice, fog machines, or canned smoke. They're fun, but they're a hazard here on campus. No non-service animals, and that includes your adorable Halloween costume pet. Consider a stuffed animal instead if your costume requires an animal sidekick. Our lab and practicum dress codes are still in effect, so no costume exceptions there. If you're unsure about attending a lab in a costume, reach out to your instructor beforehand. Please be mindful of the college-wide dress code too. If your costume would be inappropriate on a normal day, then don't wear it on Halloween. And lastly, wear shoes that you can actually walk in. You don't want to be the one who trips and falls because your costume shoes did not make the cut. Now let's talk about your right to express yourself. Your free expression rights stop when they become an inconvenience for others. So here's the deal. Your costume should not block anyone's view in the classroom. Don't wear anything that's so big it bumps into people in the hallway or interferes with their entry or exit to academic spaces. No noisy costumes, nothing that makes excessive or electronic sounds, and please nothing with an overwhelming odor, which might sound silly but can be a serious issue for others. Does your costume have lights or strobes? Nope. Keep it at home. And this is a big one. Absolutely no costumes that rely on hate group logos or symbols. And if you're not sure what that means, check out the Anti-Defamation League's online list as a guide. Remember, GTCC is not a space for political speech or artistic expression the way you might find it for your schools. So please keep that in mind when choosing your costumes. Now let's dive into something else important, which is cultural competence, which is about being respectful and mindful of how your costume might impact others. Here are some strong recommendations. Don't portray characters of another race through blackface, yellowface, or any similar practice. It's offensive. It's outdated. Avoid costumes that center or rely on harmful cultural stereotypes, and absolutely do not imitate disabilities because that's disrespectful and dehumanizing. Keep these guidelines in mind, not just here at GTCC, but wherever you go for Halloween. And speaking of wherever you go, to close, one last note. If you're celebrating outside of school, be safe. If you're drinking, if you're attending parties, take precautions, and make sure your costume isn't going to cause harm or offense to others. You can also check out third-party guides like the one from GradGuard for more safety tips. And remember, if you have any concerns about your rights on campus to be free from unwanted behavior based on sex, don't hesitate to reach out to our Title IX office. Let's make this a safe, respectful, and fun Halloween for everyone. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.